What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kevo Zilla back with another video. Guys, season two reloaded update is here. We got a brand new weapon. I covered it. Please go check out that video. That gun is a beast. It's a two tap, just two shots and they're dead. All right. I got a beam of a value for you guys along with a web profile for that weapon. Check out that video. But I know a lot of you guys are questioning, like you read the title of this video. You're like, wait, didn't he just upload a video like literally a little while ago? about the best settings. I took it down, I deleted it. Let me explain. We got Weapon AI. Weapon AI was just added to the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2022 Pro Game Pack about like two days now. I couldn't really um, bring an updated video for you guys. I've been very busy, but I also have been testing it out and trying it out. Now, honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's crap. It's not good whatsoever right now. I don't know what's going on. Maybe this new update mess, you know, mess things around and mess up the web profiles. But I tested out multiple weapons, right? Using the weapon AI. Now it does detect maybe a handful of weapons, maybe a few, but not even. I, I found it to give me a hard time with all the ARs. It's just, <laughs> I was getting frustrated. Now I know a lot of you guys get frustrated too. Okay, I did um, write to them, I DM'd them, I waited for a response, I let them know what was going on. All right, so weapon AI isn't that great with this game pack. All right? I was so hyped. You guys already know we was all hyped. It's here, but they need to change things and fix things. All right? Maybe an update will be out by the time this video is up. I don't know. That happens all the time. Every time I upload a video, things change. All right? So maybe there's been a fix right by the time this video is up. I'm going to try to get this out right now, like ASAP. All right? Now, I'm going to cover you know, everything that's new, everything that's changed as far as like my settings, my, recommend my recommendations to you guys, what I've been using, and so on and so forth. All right? This is going to be the best settings in my opinion all right for you guys to go ahead and set up now i'm gonna explain weapon ai i'm also going to jump into a game and show you guys and and try to enable weapon ai on camera with the zen all right unfortunately it's not out for the stripe pack right now like i said things could change by the time the video is up but for right now for my past it's not out and that's a good thing because we want them to fix things before just throwing crap out there you know and i hope they watch this video it's like that they can see how frustrated you know I am and how other people are. I mean, I understand, you know, we, we wait and wait and wait, but hey, it's out of our hands at the end of the day. It's up to them. But let's uh let's continue on, all right? So for the Zen, every time there's like an update to the game pack or anything of that sort of nature, you're gonna want to just chuck, just get rid of the game pack already. So left click, all right, drag and drop and dump it into the left side trash bin you see. I already went ahead and did so, and then you're gonna want to drag it back down again to a slot. All right, the straight pack is simple. You don't need to do any of that, obviously. Just click on the gears, wherever your um, COD Model Fit 22 Pro Game Pack is at. Just click the gears, and then that's it. Set everything up the way you wish, and then just save. Double save. So save configuration, and then save slash the device, and you're good to go. All right, but let's go ahead and let's open up the game pack. All right, now you already know all the orange matching game. All my game settings haven't changed, so your boy still plays standard default everything, okay? So zero trigger dead zone. Okay, six six sensitivity, 10 right stick minimum input dead zone, and 99 is the max. They only want to know the right stick. Left stick doesn't really matter. That's just for movement. Okay, now with the strike pack, here's one change I did. I right, your boy plays with the dominator, not the eliminator. So I only want two paddles, not four paddles. I don't like four paddles, four buttons, only two. All right, I'm not an octopus. Now I changed my left paddle, which is number one, okay, to turbo map button just like I did with my right paddle. And I mapped my right paddle for X and my left paddle for circle. So what's that gonna do? All right, turbo map button turns that paddle, whatever button you have mapped to that paddle, it turns to turbo. For example, all you gotta do is just hold down that paddle and it's going to spam that button. So this is going to spam circle for me, allowing me to pretty much spam crouch. It's going to keep crouching, 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 which is pretty dope in certain situations and certain gunfights. And then my right paddle is going to be X, allowing me to pretty much spam X for bunny hopping. I don't really like to have anything else, all right, set up to my paddles. I just leave it turbo map button, all right, boom. And then these two, obviously, for the eliminator, which I'm going to go ahead and skip. Now up to the global mods, okay. The global mods, I still have it BR and SYY. That stands for block rumble and your slide cancel, pretty much, all right. Slide Y Y, as you can see right here. That's slide cancel. Now in this game, I know half of you guys hate it. You don't you don't run it, you don't like it. Me, I keep it as a global mod because 
I don't know. It's cool. I guess it's fun to be sliding around the map and movement and stuff like that. But it is slow. And the biggest downside to it is you can't ADS. It, when you ADS, is so slow. So by the time you slide and trying to hold ADS because you see somebody, you're going to get cooked. You're dead. If there's somebody near you that sees you sliding like that, you're dead off the rip because it's so slow. You ADS so, so, so. I can tell and I can see why people tend to uh, not run this. But me... I got to show you guys what I'm running, and I keep BRSYY as global mods. BR is going to stand for Black Rumble. And that's it. Those are the two only global mods I want. Hair triggers, both triggers. You already know what this is. This is like having physical trigger stops in L2 and R2, like you find on a Scuf and other pro controllers. All right, this is just digital. It's pretty dope. Turns any controller pretty much into like having uh, physical trigger stops. Active aim mod. Now I'm leaving this on aim assist because this is my best settings. This is my recommendations to you guys, new and old. All right. Now me personally, I don't rock aim assist. I, I found myself doing a whole lot better in my old fan multiplayer leaving this disabled. But for all those of you new and old that wanna rock aim assist, this is my recommendation to you. Leave active aim mod as aim assist. Leave the intensity on 15. 15 is default. All right. Collective minds recommends 15 because you get the best of both worlds. You get the most craziest sticky pull aim assist possible with the least amount of screen shake all right that's what you want if you increase this number all right you're going to get even more of a screen shake and if you decrease the number you're, you're turning off the mod you're like making it weaker you might as well just like just disable it and not run aim assist all right so 15 is spot on if you want you can experiment go ahead go up to like a 20 and stuff but i'm letting you guys know the more higher you go up the more screen shake you are going to get your boy is still rocking rotational aim assist as a shot mod. I, I'm either running rotational or I'm leaving this disabled. Rotational pretty much means it moves your left stick. It moves your movement around and around. To me, I find this to be very great in those situations where it's close to mid-range and I'm hip firing. This works very well when hip firing when they're close. Right? But sometimes I do disable this. I'm not going to lie. Right? And aim assist, all it does is just spin your right stick, your aim stick around and around and around. Okay, both help out in a way with your aim assist. It's not for everyone, though. It's not for everybody. So just, you know, test out the water, see what's up. But this is my recommended setup for you guys for right now, right? I am in the future coming out with a best settings just for these two alone, right? Just to maximize the aim assist. I'm not there yet. I haven't find, you know, that sweet spot yet. So I'm not going to make a video on it yet until I'm 110% sure I found the best, all right? Next up, anti-recoil mode, standard, default, quick edit. You guys already know that's the best in slot. All right, beam on the wall. At enemies, you're going to get a tiny bit of recoil, but this is the best in this slot. Trust me, precision, you get a beam when landing shots, but those missed shots are going to be horrendous, especially like at longer ranges. Oh, no, it's going to be hard trying to land your shots. So trust me, standard default quick edit is the way to go. Now, here we are, weapon selector mode. You can see it says select and then detect weapon AI. I select weapon selector is always going to be there. It's always going to be available with the Zen. You just press and hold touchpad and press and hold R2. Then you could select the weapon profile like that. But those weapon profiles, they're already going to be set and optimized. So the values are going to be zero, zero. And they're going to be a beam already automatically if you're rocking independent. Okay. If you're rocking affected, no matter what, you're always going to have to adjust for affected. Okay. Let me, let me say that again. If you're rocking affected, you're always going to have to adjust. All right. Regardless, even if you mess with weapon AI, you're still going to have to adjust, right? So this is mainly for people that's rocking independent, if I got to be completely honest with you guys. I'll show you in-game anyway exactly what it is I'm talking about, all right? But let's leave this on weapon AI just for the sake of the video so I can test with the Zen in-game, in a private game, okay? Over here, weapon swap, manual, okay? Manual, because you guys know how I feel about this. This is pretty much just some... Um, if you set it to automatic, when you press triangle, it's going to swap between the web profiles. It's going to swap between these, your primary and your secondary, okay? And this game pack, you have four loadouts, each with a primary and secondary, each with their own um, vertical and horizontal values, all right? And I thought Weapon AI was going to be something great, something I could recommend to you guys go to, but it's just not there yet. There's still issues with it, and I can't cover something or recommend something to you guys. Say, yeah, go, go use it if there's issues with it, okay? It has to be, like, flawless. It has to be... Good enough for me to say, okay, guys, go ahead, go run and use it. All right. I wanted this thing to be so good. I wanted weapon out to be so good that we didn't even have to use and set up these these loadouts. Okay. I right? for all those of you who are running independent, that is. All right. I'm gonna show you in game anyway. 
And on the strike pack, there is no update. There is no weapon AI as far as I seen. Again, maybe there's a chance right after this video they do update it. I don't know. But as of right now, it's just it's just all around down bad for weapon AI. But now, after you set it all up like this, no matter if you team strike pack or team zen, okay, same settings, boom, boom, same as that copy and paste game pack. Now save, right? Boom. Save again. Then here on the Zen, close. And then on the left side of Zen Studios, you can see a little gray triangle, a little play button icon. Program device, click that to save your game pack settings. And let's go to the game. All right, guys. So before I jump into a private game, I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to be testing out the weapon AI with these three weapons, all right? The M4, the Vel 46, and the RPK. All right, I'm going to just quickly show you guys the tunings for all the attachments and the attachments, okay? By no means are these like the go-to attachments and tunings for these weapons. All right, this video is not about that. This video is just to test out the weapon AI for you guys, all right? And the best settings, all right? So let's just go through this because I am going to, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a few of you guys asking what are my tunings for the attachments. So that's when I least the RPK. Boom. All right, boom. Here's the shark fin for it. Muzzle. Rear grip, and last but not least, the Cronin Mini Pro. Hey right, guys, here we are. So let's actually spawn in with the actual gun. All right, so starting right after you can see loadout one, primary weapon, regular fire zero zero. All right, and then my secondary boom is regular fire zero zero. So with weapon AI, you got to make sure you're in a nice quiet area, okay, away from any type of noise, vibrations, any of that sort of nature that's going to interfere with the detection. Now the detection is not a hundred percent, okay. It, it, there could be a fail safe, which um, the Zen has and stuff like that. And there could be confusion when the Zen gets confused on, on picking up the weapon. If any of those issues occur that the weapon AI fails to detect the weapon, you could just press the old touchpad and then press the R2. And then here you are. You can easily select the weapon. All right, you have generic, assault rifles, battle rifles, SMGs. And then you could select here your weapon like this. And then you could press X and you're good to go. The values are going to be zero, zero, but it's going to be a beam on independent. Okay. Just bear that in mind. Okay. But let's bring this back to regular fire. Okay. Now let's just go to a 20. This is quiet enough, right? Let me show you guys this. All right. Let's go to a 20. Now we're going to see if it can successfully detect this M4. Okay. The way you go about is you press a whole touchpad and press a whole R1 It's going to shoot, reload, shoot. That's the normal weapon AI animation. And then we should see the M4 word profile appear there. Let's see what, what happens, all right? Press old touchpad, press old R1. Okay, you see that? M13, this isn't an M13. All right, like right off the rip, we should see the M4 or it should give us an option to select the M4, okay? Either or, you see that? And then it goes back to regular fire. Let's see. And now it's stuck on regular fire. Now I went to Chimera. You guys see what I mean? So it's kind of, it's, it's, it's broken. It's not 100%. I'm in a quiet area. I got all my settings correct. Okay. It doesn't matter. Even if I switch here, let's say I switch to independent. Okay. All my settings are as is. You guys already know. See, all my in-game settings are matched with the game pack. Everything is as follows. Vibration is on. I have everything accordingly. Everything matched up. Everything is perfect. Okay. You guys see that? I'll even go to controller. I'll even go down here and I will change this to tap to reload. Okay. That's the only difference that I have that there. All right. Now check it out. I'm going to attempt to enable it again. Touchpad and R1. Still camera. Touchpad R1. Now M13. <laughs> See, so there's an issue there. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's just the M4. Maybe it's just the M4 web profile is not working. So let's try the MP7 out now. Let's change teams. Okay. Boom. Just to be on the safe side, let's bring this back to regular fire. Okay. Let's go back inside where it's quiet. Well, it's quiet out here too, but just to really make sure. I even shut the door. Okay. Let's test out the Vel. Press and hold touchpad. Press hold R1. Fennec 45. This isn't a Fennec 45. <laughs> you see this? That's for R1. PDSW now. What? What is going on? Look. Wait. Make sure there's no noise. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure, I'm 110% sure I'm not doing anything wrong. I don't got the wrong settings. Everything is fine because the rest of this whole game pack works flawless for me. I could easily turn this weapon right now into a beam if I adjust. Check it out. Fighting 45. You guys see? Now, RPK, last but not least. Let's see. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the RPK works. Okay, let's go inside again. Shut the door. Wait, shut the doors. Okay. Now let's see. Press the old touchpad. Press the R1. Oh, it picked up the RPK. Okay, one out of the three weapons. That's not good. But I'll do a bonus. Okay. And I'll do this. I'll go to loadouts and I'll actually just no wait. Let me go back to RPK. Because I want to do this. I'll actually change this M4 into another weapon. Let's say. Hmm. Let's say that's TB556, okay? Let's say this, and I'll even do the base, all right? Just no attachments, right? Zero attachments. All right, but let's test out this RPK since it did since it did pick up the RPK, okay? I'm on independent, by the way, all right? Let's test out how good the weapon AI works with the RPK. Let's see, all right, from a 20, all right? Let's see, ADS. I mean, eh, it's still recoil. There's still recoil there. All right. There's still recoil. As you can see, I use weapon AI to pick it up and there's still recoil. Okay. So this weapon AI isn't, isn't that great guys. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Maybe that's the reason why they didn't go ahead and, and add it to the strike pack. Maybe that's the reason. I don't know. All right. Now let's go to the STB. Okay. Let's kill ourselves. And I'm still not independent, by the way. All right, check it out. See that? I'm still on 120 field of view independent. All right. Now let's see if it detects this STB and see how well the web profile is. Okay. Touchpad and R1. Nope. It's not even detecting it. It's not even picking it up with no attachments. Check this out. All right. It's quiet, right? Touchpad and R1. No, it's not picking it up. It's picking up the RPK, which is weird. The only gun out of like all these other guns I tested. But it's still giving me recoil, even on independent, which is weird. Let's see. Touch by R1. Yep, you see that? It's picking up the RPK beautifully. And I don't even have, look, I don't even have a magazine on here. Are you guys little bonus here i'm going to try out another weapon all right the vaznev 9k all right i already have um a setup for it now let me show you guys my settings real quick i want to show you guys this okay so first off 120 field of view on independent right off the rip okay now i'm enable weapon ai i'm attempt to enable weapon AI. let me go inside somewhere where it's quiet okay i'm pressing old touchpad press old r1 Mini Bach, right? Let's see. Again, Mini Bach, Mini Back. All right, so it's it's not even picking up the right weapon. See that? Okay, so let's just uh, press and hold the touchpad. Press R two, and let's go down to SMGs. Let's find it. Okay, right here, Vaznev nine K. Let's press X. Okay, now you see the web profile is there. Let's go to a 15 and check it out. It should be a beam now, all right? Because I'm on 120 field of view on independent and I just put the weapon profile there. Check it out. It's decent. You see that? It is decent. I mean, it's not perfect, perfect. Okay, but it's decent. I think honestly with these uh, so-called optimized um, weapon profiles or optimized weapon AI profiles, that I will call them. You probably get better results adjusting, to be completely honest. Like, especially for me and other players that play on Affected, you're better off just adjusting because you can make, you know, beams. I'm talking beams. But let's see one more time. You can see? 
I would bring that down a little bit, but I'll do another one. I could go on. I can do just about all of them. All right, let's say, um, mm, all right, let's say the Fennec 45. No, actually, PDW. All right, PDSW. All right, I have a setup right here for it. So let's go ahead and set it up. I don't want this video to be too, too long anymore. It's already getting about that time. So let's just do this real quick. Okay. Uh, where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? I'm going to go inside somewhere because I know one of you guys are going to be like, yeah, you're supposed to go inside. So let me go inside somewhere quiet because you guys are 100% right. Okay. Close the door. Close it. Okay. Now let's uh, let's go ahead. Press the whole touchpad. Press the whole R1. Lock them in sub. Yeah, I mean, something is definitely going on. Now it picked it up. See that? It picked it up now. But I bet you if I go to adjust it again, it's going to change. All right. So we got lucky. All right, it, it picked it up by some miracle. Okay, so let's test it out. It detected the weapon, but the recoil isn't that great. I'll do it one more time. Touchpad R1. Now I went back to regular fire. Okay, I, I, I'm done with weapon AI. I'm done. Uh, you guys get the idea. It's not, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. All right, guys, so before I end the video, let's get into the game pack on the strike pack because I want to show you guys my paddles and my setup, right, while in game. So... Once you get your stripe pack plugged up, press and hold the small left black button back of stripe pack, press the right paddle. The first slot is my Call of Duty Pro Game Pack already. The COD Model for 22 Pro Game Pack. I, I got it in my first slot. If yours is in the second, third, fourth, or whatever, and any of the other eight slots or seven slots, I should say, keep pressing in that small left black button and just navigate by keep pressing the right paddle. I only got two game packs, so you see it's swapping between the two. First slot is my Model for 2 Pro Game Pack, all right? Now, at this point, my paddles, my right paddle is mapped to X. My left paddle is mapped to circle. As you saw in the beginning, while I was showing, both of the paddles are set to turbo pretty much. Turbo map buttons, which means that if I press down on my right paddle, it's pretty much going to spam jump for me. It's spamming X for me. And if I press down on my left paddle, it's going to spam crouch. All right? Both are very good for gunfights. All right? Close to mid-range. All right? Even though bunny hopping, jumping like this is very slow in this game. It's not like it was. Um, I guess in certain situations, it sh could be beneficial, I should say. It could be beneficial. All right? Now, here's rapid crouch, pretty much. Same thing. See? It just keeps spamming circle. Right paddle again, just spams X for me. All right? Since I have slide YY or slide cancel as a global mod, it's still there when I just tap circle. You see that? It's still there. I guess it's there whenever I want to use it. You don't have to, guys. Like I said, you could just um, not use it and just leave global mods as um, block rumble. But these are my settings. This is my go-to, okay? And you can also just hold circle to uh, go straight to the ground. It's still there, see? Whenever I need to. I rarely do that anyway. I rarely, you know, go to the ground like that. But anywho, there you have it. That's my setup. That's my go-to. may not be for everyone, but uh, that's how I roll. And that's my recommendation to you guys. So try everything out. Again, as of right now, Weapon AI is, I will say, avoid it. Avoid it for right now. I, I'll let you guys know when things will change. Take care, everyone. Till next time.